All right, at 3.33 the time, welcome to the Court of Public Opinion, the Rick Roberts Show. Glad you're along with you every day, Monday through Friday from 2 to 5, your afternoon drive out of Dallas-Fort Worth, of course, heard all over the country. It's toll-free wherever you are, 1-800-288-WBAP, 1-800-288-9227. You going to the store on the way home? Maybe uh, taking the wife out, something like that, to a restaurant tonight? I go to the store all the time. You're going to look at the prices? I always do. Why? Because I'm not a big spender like that. So you budget? Of course. Yeah. When I you, even teach my when, son how to budget. When you're looking for a house, you just don't drive down the street. Oh, that's nice. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, I'll take it. How much? I'm going to get my checkbook. Uh, you don't, that's how government works. That's not how we work. I mean, when you go shopping for kids' clothes or you're shopping for groceries or, you know, big ticket items or a car, whatever it is, you try to find the best deal for the buck, right? No incentive for government to do that. None. It's not their money. You're a walking, talking ATM. And at some point, I've been warning for years, you're going to run out of dough because they will have spent it all. You know, $1.3 trillion for what? You know, would you like to know for what? If you weren't upset enough, if you're driving in the fast lane, move over because you may jerk the wheel. I don't want you running into anybody. The House and Senate increased their own budgets in the $1.3 trillion spending package. The Senate increased its total salaries of officers and employees by $12.6 million in this 2,232-page bill. They had fewer than 48 hours to read and vote on. Sounds to me, to me like somebody's not doing their job. You're in the nation's capital, the most powerful country on planet Earth, and you guys can't even get your ducks in a row. Well, we only had 48 hours. Why is that? The bill avoids a government shutdown that would have taken place at midnight on Friday. Gosh, here's my I'm shocked look. Aside from giving their own institutions a bonus, the spending bill also gives away millions to prevent what's called elderly fails. It promotes breastfeeding and it fights excessive alcohol use. Well, let's see. Um, do I want to promote breastfeeding or build a wall? Do I, they gave themselves a raise, $12.6 million. The Senate increased its total salaries of officers and employees by almost $13 million. It increases the Senate budget to $919 million. You know, I... I'm shaking my head because I don't know what else to do. I'm a talk show host. I'm supposed to have an opinion on just about everything, and I do on just about everything. Not everything, though. I'm a human human being. This is so beyond the pale, I don't even know what to do with it. Salaries of staffers in the Senate are also set for another increase. It breaks down the total salaries of officers and employees which are being raised from 182 million in 2017 to 194 million this year. The Senate also increased its expense account as expense allowances are going up uh, from 177,000 to almost 200,000. The House, however, kept its budget for salaries the same. Um, I, I got to go to your calls or I'm going to say something that, uh, Kevin Graham, our program director is going to have to come in here and relieve me of my microphone. Uh, let's go to, uh, Michael in Dallas. Michael, thanks for waiting. Hi. Absolutely. Uh, afternoon, Rick. How you doing? Oh, well, I am going to move past the pleasantries because I believe we are all doing about the same right now. And that's numb. Um, I have been looking for a silver lining in this, and I may be on to something, and you can articulate it better than I can. Uh, this may be a ploy, uh, a shuck and jive, a last-ditch, maybe brilliant effort of passing this Democrat bill, which incorporates everything that he campaigned against, which 
basically throws all of our votes out the window, that he is trying to show the voter, the people, that doing it the Democrats' way again only drives our debt up. Well, we're, we're at $20 trillion. How high do we have to get it before we go, oh, we'll never pay this off? We're, we're never going to pay this off now. No, no, we aren't. Uh, again, I just feel that the man uh, is smarter than that. The moves he's made thus far have all uh, – 2017 was, was just champion for him. I just don't see that he would do something so – backwards to uh to lose to lose the confidence of his uh, constituents i just don't see that so I, I, he knows more than we do uh, so i just feel like there's something more okay what could he corporate. possibly know that would make signing a 1.3 trillion dollar spending bill okay again i do not know but he's thus far has completed his campaign promises no i I, I, i'll give you that i I give you that i I completely 180 i still support him over hillary i get all that agreed but nobody's going to be able to pay this off and nobody's going to pay this off i mean the senate voted them themselves raises uh it it, they did we're building a wall in jordan rather than building our wall here exactly it, it, it makes no sense whatsoever and that's why there's got to be something that we can't see yet. Uh, I, I, again, I, I can't even put my finger on it. I'm still trying to absorb this. I can't fathom uh, what it is. Health care spending in this bill, $4 million to combat, uh, combat uh, excessive alcohol use uh, so through a new ridiculous. CDC program. Another $15 ridiculous. million goes to study high obesity counties. Um, that's, again, to the CDC. And then Again, ridiculous. it spends $205 million to prevent elderly falls, old people falling down. I, uh, $8 million. I, I read something about a Obamacare bailout even. Well, I eight, was yes. In replace. $8 uh, million eight, eight. in the form of breastfeeding, uh, breastfeeding grants. Uh, I, I, I don't what even understand mean? that. How does that work? Yeah, I, I, have, I, I, I can't. It, it, again, it's all a very big fog, but the, I just cannot imagine someone with his intelligence and his ability to uh, to get, I don't know, quote unquote, the deal done for him to go completely 180 of what he was voted in for. I mean, he, he's either got a really, really slick idea that's going on or the conservatives voted to the Democrats one hell of a president. Well, uh, the legislation also mandates, not suggest. A couple million dollars. Now, this is this will make you sleep better tonight. All right, one point three trillion dollars. I don't know who's. Well, they expect us to pay it off. Uh, maybe our grandkids or great grandkids. Uh, but millions to the Alcohol, Tobacco, Tax, and Trade Bureau to improve wine label accuracy. And I know there have been many times, you know, when my indi- uh, entire day, my entire evening was just shot because the wine label was. Not totally accurate, but I don't have to worry about that because I just spent a couple million dollars on that and a breastfeeding grant. What what is that? You don't know where to put the baby? I mean, come on, this is this is insane. You know, I hope you're right, Michael. But uh, you know, I'm a pragmatist. When I look at this, one point three trillion dollars. That number's out there, and it's a done deal. We're supposed to pay it back. Uh, how with the other 20 trillion dollars in debt your calls straight ahead but first you got to answer you have to answer the question has trump totally lost it totally decided to fall into the other side thrown up his hands and say says i don't care anymore what is the motivation behind this what what could it possibly be 